My name is Annika. I'm a graduating eighth grader this year. I've been a bull since kindergarten, or about nine years. That's about 64% of my life. 1,620 days, nine grades, over 20 teachers, hundreds of friends. That is insane to me. Along the way, we've all heard so many pieces of advice, but for some of them, I took away something a little different. Today, I'm gonna to look at three cliches we've all heard before and see if we can look at them in a slightly different way. Okay, number one. I'm sure you've all heard someone say this before. The world is your oyster. Well, what do I hear? I know that a lot of kids in our grade have food allergies. And for those of you with shellfish allergies, thinking about the world as an oyster is probably just terrifying. As many of you may know, my mom is an allergist. So I've heard a lot about kids with allergies. But this observation broadens beyond those with medical issues. We are the protected generation. Lots of things to be afraid of, long lists of things to avoid. But we're about to be forced to open up. In high school, we're going to be placed in new and different situations every day. Situations we've been previously sheltered from and will now have to face directly. Of course, we have to get past this COVID thing first, but Global pandemic aside, remember that the world is an oyster, your oyster. And even if that terrifies you a little bit and makes you instinctively reach for your EpiPen, just know that it means we're gonna have to face new things when we open up to new ideas. Okay, second phrase I wanna reference is connect the dots. When I was little, I loved to do those little connect the dot activities on restaurant placemats. It was so satisfying to just connect from one to two to three and then out popped a picture of Donald Duck. But my five-year-old self failed to see a different meaning behind this phrase. A few years ago, Steve Jobs said that a lot of life is about connecting the dots. The wonderful thing about being in middle and high school is that we're still busy adding dots to our pictures. You will spend your lives connecting these dots and it will take years or decades to fully finish the picture. Don't let anyone tell you something isn't worth learning about or investigating. If you find something interesting, don't let anyone tell you it isn't worthwhile or cool. Pursue your hobbies with deep passion. Add another dot. You'll be constantly surprised later at how life connects the dots. Okay, here's a third one I'm sure you've all heard a million times. No calculators allowed. We've all seen this at the top of our math tests. We were told in the real world, no one used calculators, so neither should we. We were also taught not to get into strangers' cars. Well, I hate to break it to you, but we now have a special button on our pocket calculators to summon a stranger specifically so that we can get into their car. It's called Uber. Our generation's relationship to tools is different. We are not only going to be using calculators, we're going to be calculator experts. In the past, tools were a crutch and had to be avoided. No calculators. But now there's an app for everything. To survive and thrive, we have to be good at using them. No more writing in pen and pencil. We edit our papers in Google Docs. We don't study for Mandarin using flashcards. We study using Quizlet and Kahoot. You don't need to lug around giant textbooks anymore. We have online ones available with the click of a button on our iPads. Here's what I learned. Our generation's relationship to tools is different. We are not only going to be using calculators, we are going to be calculator experts. So now you have three cliches with new meanings. One, the world is your oyster. Two, you can connect the dots. And three, we don't get to just use calculators, we get to make them. But all Bullis learners know to leave a little bit of time to reach beyond their full potential. So here are a few more quick hints. Remember that life has no remote. We have to get up and change it ourselves. Remember that education isn't about filling a bucket. It's about lighting a fire. Go show the world what you're made of. I hope you've enjoyed my interpretations of these phrases. Now for a few thank yous. I would especially like to thank our teachers and administrators who've supplied us with endless amounts of opportunities. We should all thank our parents for supporting and encouraging us to be our best selves. And I'd really like to thank my friends and peers. We've, de we've developed friendships that I'm sure will last us our entire lifetimes. Time and time again, Bullish Charter School has been here to be our guiding route. The school has helped us accomplish great things, 
and I hope that one day in the future, I can pay their efforts forward. Thank you.